one. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh! Here it goes. Oh, there it goes! Hello, YouTube. Modal Gaming here, checking out Disassembly 3D. And yes, folks, it has been a while since we've checked out this game, and there has been a brand new update. So, they have a new sandbox mode, which we're going to check out, because I feel like we're going to be able to cause quite a bit of destruction and chaos, but they've also changed some other stuff, so let's go ahead and hop into the game. So yeah, they've added some cool stuff. So last time we played it, we had the bomb, and that was it. Like, there was nothing else to the game, and it seems like they've added some of the stuff from the, uh, the VR version of the game. So we've got some new tools, we've got like C4, rocket launchers, and overall, this is going to be an awesome time. So... I think the first thing that we should do, we should definitely shoot an RPG at the Titanic. There we go, three, two, one, go! Oh, there it goes. And, oh, we only knocked off a couple panels. <laughs> kind of figured that was going to be a bit stronger. But nonetheless, this is still cool and I love destruction. And if you love destruction too, maybe you should hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, let me know down in the comment section below. All right, that just didn't do it for me. Maybe we should try it. Wait, what's moving? Something's moving in the ship. Uh, maybe we should place down some C4. How do I place this down? Oh, there it goes. Uh, okay, you can say that's stuck. <laughs> no, it's perfectly fine. So I believe that we have... Actually, where's the remote for this? Uh, I don't know where it's at, but I can stick multiple pieces, though. So this is a thing. I know the remote's in here. I gotta find it somewhere. So let's keep sticking C4. So how many pieces of C4 do you guys think it's gonna take in order to take out... The Titanic, and oh, it's still moving. Okay, that's what I was looking for. All right, so let's go ahead and scoot back a little bit. All right, three, two, one, click. Oh! Little boy, what kind of achievement is that? You know, that wasn't as big as I thought it would be. I think a part of that, and look, this is the new particle system, so you can see all the little pieces flying off. That looks amazing, by the way. Holy man. So, yeah, I guess it's really the scale. Think about it. The Titanic is absolutely massive, and these aren't really that big a piece as a C4. Where's the nuke at? I feel like that should be a thing. All right, this isn't going to get it done, so we need more destruction. So let's get as many pieces as possible. Actually, let's slow down time. That way we have time to stick all the pieces of C4. Oh, no, I've placed way too much C4 on this ship. All right, we're almost done. I think I've at least got about, I want to say about 100 pieces on. Uh, so yeah, this is perfectly fine. Uh, let's go into the wheelhouse. Let's go and put some here. There we go. Uh, stick one right over there. All right, folks. So oh, okay, don't go into full speed yet. All right, we need to get this out. All right, so activate three, two, one. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Wait, dude. There's so much. Are you kidding me, Han? Here it goes. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, buddy. I forgot how satisfying that destruction was. Oh, that is cool. All right, it's got to be going down, right? Like, what, we did it? Did we win? Uh, what the heck? I think we just broke the physics. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so the back end's popping up. Uh, here, let's uh, shoot one of these in here real quick. Oh, okay, full speed. <laughs> All right. Oh, here it goes. Now that is impressive. Ah, oh, yes. Man. Feels good to be back in this game. So I do think she's officially going in the water. Uh, it's starting to make all the noises and stuff. Yeah, you can hear it groaning. The ship is definitely not happy right now. <laughs> Look at that, you can see all the interior and stuff falling apart. That's great. All right, she going to the bottom. Yeah, look at the uh, propellers and stuff are going up. She is gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean. And oh, you know we gotta watch this. Shall we add insult to injury? Here we go. Boom! And it just slowed it down. I wonder if there's an option I can turn that off. Like, it slows it down whenever the explosions happen, and, uh... Oh, yeah, she's going. Yeah, I wonder if there's an option to turn that off. I think there is. Oh, that was beautiful. And she's gonna rest at the bottom of the ocean. All right, so... This kind of reintroduces you guys to the game. Now let's go check out that sandbox mode. Which, by the way, we still have a ton of new items that we can play with uh, here with some of the new toys. But down here is sandbox mode. Now, this is also available in the VR version, too. Uh, it might actually be easier in that version. I'm not really sure. 
So you've got this little blank house here, but you have a big open area. So we go down here and we got a tablet. Actually, I think we want to use the tablet. I think we can grab one ourselves. So let's go select. Nope, I want a little bit more here. Let's go over to, oh, there's a mannequin. Wait, so is he like a active mannequin? Can we shoot it? Oh, this thing is kind of impressive looking. Hold on, we're gonna call you Manny. Say goodbye to Manny. Oh, yes, he does have ragdoll physics. That's cool. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we messed him up. Wait, did the ground actually start to, like, dent in? I'm trying to figure out if we're actually making holes in the ground or if that's just decals. I, I can't really tell. It's really nice looking, though. By the way, let's just go ahead and go. There we go. Yep, that's fine. All right, so like I was saying before I got distracted, there are some new things that we can select. So if we go over to here, so this is the sandbox controller. So this allows us to spawn in stuff, which I think we can spawn in. Okay, so we can get a car here. So yeah, we can make like ramps and stuff, or we can even have car crashes. So a lot of these items are from the game that you can disassemble, but never could you spawn in multiple things at once. So I can spawn in two cars and start them up and have them come at each other and just create a glorious car crash. Which by the way, I'm sorry if the camera freaks out occasionally, I'm still adjusting to the way it works. Okay, so is that, is that gassing forward? All right, let's go and speed up time a little bit here. All right, how does this work? Can I stick that on? Uh, come on. Wait, is the parking brake on or something? Oh, it's not. All right, it's moving. Cool. All right, so how do I get two things to move at the same time? I don't think it's going to matter. We're going to see an actual car crash in disassembly 3D. All right, here we go. And... <laughs> I think we need a little bit more speed. <laughs> By the way, if you get into a fender bender and your car explodes into flames, please do go to the dealership and return whatever's left of the car because yeah, you deserve a refund of some sorts. That's ridiculous. All right, so do we wanna see if we can break the game? So let's spawn in another one here. Yeah, uh, normally you don't spawn in this many objects because I'm pretty sure this is gonna blow something up. Okay, and we'll spawn in one more right there. All right, so we're gonna get our uh, trusty old, I guess we're gonna get the C4 out. And then we're gonna plant a bunch of explosives on it and see what happens. This is fine. Okay, we are gonna completely obliterate this. Oh, I see all the red dots, they're popping up. And, oh, yes. Oh, that is glorious. Oh, wow. In full speed. You know, the, uh, the C4 doesn't quite have the launching power, but, I mean, look at this. This is new levels of destruction here, folks. On uh, that, you don't have any left, do we? <laughs> you think anybody survived? Oh, you know what? There is terraforming. Look at that. We do have a hole in the ground. I wonder if I can just place a bunch of C4. Like, can we go far down, or is it just maybe a little bit? Now, if we get our old uh, trusty part finder out, are we going to be able to disassemble the rest of this? Hold on, let's pull it up. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of pieces here. <laughs> Oops. All right, so as far as what's on the menu here, we've got quite a bit. Uh, it looks like we can... Okay, so there's more coming soon, but yeah, there's some platforms, some ramps. Dude, you can almost build, like, a town. So we've got... Looks like the tank, the Formula One car, the, like, the Model T, uh, the F... Is it a 16? I'm not exactly sure what that one is. I uh, get the helicopter. Wow. Oh, dude. We could totally shoot missiles at the house. Hold on. Let's try to position this. I forgot how nice these models were. Like, look at the interior of this uh, plane. That's cool. All right. So let's go back out and let's go ahead and shoot a missile. Three, two, one, shoot. Oh, wait, what? That is the world's strongest table. All right. Let's uh, rain down here. Yeah! Okay, how about the gun? Not... Oh, wow. <laughs> we're kind of chewing through the back of the house. I really figured we were going to do a lot more damage. I guess the only way to do this is to yeet it into the building. All right, so is this the... Oh, there's throttle. Oh! <laughs> there's some things that I feel aren't ready for sandbox mode, <laughs> and that plane might be it. That was still funny. All right, let's uh, just shoot it with an RPG. How about that? Let's just go up. Oh. Boom. Beautiful. All right. And there it goes. Oh, I remember taking all this stuff apart in the game. That was always such a pain. 
Uh, hold on, speed it up. All right, that was kind of beautiful. Okay, so let's place this one here. Ooh, yeah, buddy, the interior on this one's nice too. All right, so shoot some rockets. Oh, I think we kind of missed. I kind of want to just move the whole object, but I don't think that's a thing. How many rockets do we have? All right, we have a good bit. Now, if only it was aimed in the right direction. Is this unlimited? This feels like it's unlimited. All right, this is perfect. And then we have mini guns. Uh, let's see if we can spin those up. Oh, ho, ho. oh, we did obliterate the house. Okay. So we're going to have to spawn something right in front of it. What else do we want to destroy? How about the tank? What kind of damage can we do to a tank here? So it looks like they've been hitting about right here. I mean, we could let the tank have its revenge, but we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead and continue with the helicopter here. All right. Uh, actually, it selected the tank. How do I select the chopper now? On to touch its little touchpad. I feel like the controls are of the latest thing that you spawned in. By the way, it looks like they have some thunderstorms in the area. They might want to check that out. All right, so helicopter. All right, so I can... Yeah, there it goes. All right, I've selected it now. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah! Oh, that is so awesome. All right, keep obliterating it. Come on, let's go and light it up with some uh, miniguns. Oh, the new effects are glorious. There we go, and it's really, really noisy. By the way, let's slow this, there we go. Oh, man, is that the engine knocked out? That thing completely got obliterated. Ah, it's beautiful. Hold on, can we see inside of it? Uh, where was the driver? Oh, here's the inside of the tank. That's amazing. I like that. Jeez, it looks like we've charred this thing. All right, and let's speed it back up. And all the pieces settled, and we have a destroyed tank. Folks, I think we did it here today. Well, if you guys want to see another episode of this, you know what to do. Let me know down in the comment section below, and we will see you guys next time.